Now, I know a bottle of baby oil and lubricant hate to see P. Diddy come in because what the fuck? Authorities say they didn't seize over a thousand bottles of baby oil and lubricant from P. Diddy's house, y'all. And I think that is an outrageous amount of baby oil. And it's so funny because I really don't feel like I be seeing baby oil in the store. And so if there is a shortage on baby oil, we know where it's at. I love how the authorities consider it freak off supplies because that's definitely what they was doing with all that baby oil like just imagine the type of parties p diddy be having but let's really talk about it like when you think about like a whole industry of the whole music industry being somewhat to a certain extent silent about p diddy parties like we know that a lot of artists have been at p diddy parties but a lot of people are not going to speak up or say what they've seen or what they experienced because it might indicate them in some part of his case you just never know and unfortunately we can't pick our parents and now the kids of p diddy are going to have to deal with the consequences of his actions as well so they say this is allegedly they say that p diddy's kids all surrendered their passports including him with hopes of like him bailing out of jail as a no flight risk even the one-year-old baby had to um surrender her passport like that's why it's so important for you to be mindful of who you surround yourself with because not only is P. Diddy kids and all of them having to deal with, you know, P. Diddy's actions, but even Mimi Foss. Mimi Foss, yes, I said that. Stevie J's baby mama even said that she even dealt with some stuff due to Stevie J's interactions or his, you know, friendship with P. Diddy. So Mimi was on an interview live and she basically said that her and Stevie J had a dating show coming out on BT. They had been planning it for a whole year and due to all the things that have came out about P. Diddy and then um, Stevie J and his correlation with P. Diddy and still having this public relationship with P. Diddy like you know they cut ties on with Mimi and Stevie J on the show. Now we don't know how, how true this is. Again Mimi even said allegedly that's the reason why. We don't know but Still, I know me personally, I wouldn't want to do no business, be at no party of Stevie J's either if he cool with P. Diddy like that. But there's more. Like, I'm pretty sure P. Diddy's attorney is just as stupid as P. Diddy because why would you even say this? Diddy's lawyer is trying to basically justify Diddy's behavior and said that Cassie hit Diddy in the head prior to the whole incident that happened in the hallway and that Cassie allegedly was cheating on P. Diddy with her now husband now even if that was true now even if that was right that don't make it right for pd to do what he's done okay so he could have literally kept that whole comment to himself and i know i had said in my previous video that i don't think that pd gonna stay in jail but the judge is definitely fooled the fuck out of me this judge refuses uh his bail and basically pd gonna have to sit in jail until after this whole sex trafficking case go to trial now who knows how long that's gonna take and they can definitely take their time we're not in no rush to figure out what's going on he needs to sit there for a little minute and think about what he's done and he obviously ain't learned nothing because they said when they found him and took him into possession he had a little bit of pink powder on him like so you haven't learned your lesson you have not learned your lesson